Good evening, everyone. It's Sunday again, and it's sunny here in Devon. We had a few rain showers Thursday and Friday, I think, um, but doesn't stop us cooking. Um, hope you've all had a good week and you're well. Been seeing loads of um, fish. Fish seems to be popular at the moment. So, uh, and that's what we've got on the menu tonight. Some lovely, lovely excellent mussels. So picked from just down in the Exc estuary, just down, just two miles away from home, um, from the nice um, fishmonger down on the quay. Um, I'm going to do them with some cider. It was World Cider Day in the week, so that's going in the mussels. And it's also my tipple for tonight. Um, you could use ale, you can use beer, you can use white wine, you can use fish stock, um, anything you like really. Traditionally, I think more money air is with white wine. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're doing moors of cider and we're using the Kadai Fire Bowl tonight. And um going to use the cooking bowl that comes with that so you hang that from the tripod so I'll set that up in a moment um, and what's great about the cad eye is that um, when you finish cooking put some more logs on and then you can sit around and um, have a drink while the evening carries on so that's what we'll be doing later I've um, lit it about half an hour ago so I normally cook over charcoal with the odd few bits of wood for extra flavour um, and then when we finish cooking we'll just move the wood in and we've got our fire pit so I can just go through the ingredients if you like uh, so I've got about half an onion you could use shallots and um, that's half a white onion um, two cloves of garlic some butter, some rapeseed oil, some herbs, fresh herbs from the garden. You will probably want parsley, but that's a mixture of rosemary, thyme, sage and some fennel top. So they, that's all gone into there. A little bit of lemon juice and the cider. So that's all there is. So I'll get cooking. So we just need to put the... Uh, the cooking bowl over the tadai. Hopefully that will go over there. I just need to line it up. There, that should be just about right. So into there we're going to put some oil. and a bit of butter. Anybody joining us tonight? Yeah, quite a few. We've got Gary Parker says hello. Hi Gary. Roberto says good evening both. Hi Roberto. Hi there. Uh, Christine says she loves mussels. Uh, it's so quick to cook too and then, then you need a really nice chunky bread to mop up all the juices. And that's what your sister Rosie says. And bread to mop up the juices. Yeah, so, and I have got some bread cooking in the joe, which I'll show you later because it's not quite ready. So we'll put the onions in. Ideally, you don't want to brown the onions. You want to saute them. So, and cook them till they go sort of transparent. But we'll see what the, um, the temperature is. It doesn't matter if they get a bit brown. So, just let them cook. You can, of course, lower, lower it down or raise it up if it's too hot or not hot enough. You can see me through the smoke tonight. George says, hi, Sue. Hi, George. Uh, and Simon Burt says, hello, my lovely. Love a bit of moppy bread. You should really use wooden wooden utensils when you're using the um, the cooking bowl, just so you don't scratch 
scratch the um the surface Christine says she needs to like her karai more. Yeah. It's so useful because once you finish cooking then you can enjoy the evening more. Have a few wines or ciders. Sorry, smoke's going in the cameraman's eyes tonight. It's alright, I've got two of them. So I'm going to add the garlic in now. have been in the sea but just a little bit of salt there mm. start to smell the garlic now Pretty work cooking over that heat so what are you all cooking tonight? What we've been cooking today. Some nice roasts maybe. Or even if any of you have done mussels on the outdoor fires before. You could actually do a nice fishy stew. So you could put um, some cod and salmon and langoustines or prawns and mussels and white wine and make a big pot of stew. Right, so that's now just starting to brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cider. And wait for that to start bubbling. I'm also going to add about half the herb so that can start flavouring the juice there, the sauce. Let's give it a stir. I'm just wait for that to um, to bubble, and then I'm going to add the mussels. Hope it's going to be hot enough. It's just as tasty to drink that cider as it is put in uh, the mussel liquid. I'm not sure I've drunk anything but a Devon Red Cider since I've come back from university. It's a good side of that. Right, I'm going to put the mussels in. Now, get them from... They come in a nice pack like this and they've been washed already but I've rinsed them and I've checked them all earlier. Some are just starting to open because they've just been sitting on the side so I know they've closed but to check them, you should just give them a little tap, they're all starting to close up again, you should just give them a little tap and they start to close and you should discard any broken ones but I say they, I've rinsed them and um, they're all good to go so I'm going to put them in they should all start to open very shortly. I need to add a bit more cider. I better not drink it all. So while they're cooking, I can show you what else we've got for dinner. So that's our starters. And then um, I've lit the joe as well tonight. Oh, so here we've got cider can chicken, also with the Devon cider. And these are my cheesy tear and share bread. So they're 
not quite done and we're going to use them to mop up the um the juice from the mussels which is going to be really nice so it was just um 250 grams of um strong white flour some odds of bits of cheese i had in the fridge um three grams of yeast a teaspoon of salt a tablespoon of oil enough water to get it into a dough i've also put some herbs in there which is what those little green flecks are and then i let it prove and then i knocked it back and made into balls let it prove again and then i grated some cheese on the top so um they need a little bit longer and they're just starting to color which is nice and so that's going to be the rest of our dinner barbecue slippers are on tonight as always so let's have a look at the mussels and see how they're doing. Just starting to open the ones at the bottom, so we give them a bit of a stir. Oh, I can smell that. The wind's bringing it up to me. It's gorgeous. lower it down just to get a bit more heat I think I want to do that so you can just do that by just altering the chain here let's move it on to that one just because you want them to cook quite quickly And then what's good then with the cooking bowl it comes with this trivet a lot of people when you get your cat eye not sure what this is for and um, so what you do is put that on your table take off the cooking bowl and then everybody can dive in so if you've done a, a curry or a pot of chili or some pit beans on there or a risotto type thing then that's then that's really good you can just dive in that sounds they're all starting to open now so we'll just give it a bit longer it even sounds like the sea when you're mm -hmm. mixing it around stones. yeah Badly beach you could put a, a lid on it if you want it to cook it quicker or some tin foil but hopefully it should be just fine. Okay, there goes the one that's open there. Looking lovely. Oh, there. I think they're nearly done. Look. They should only take a few minutes to cook. You'll probably find some pop out the shells, but that doesn't matter. You don't eat the ones that don't open. Anita's joined. Hope you're doing okay, Anita. Uh, Christine says, fancy a boy bass. Oh yes, can you imagine that? I, Anita, you've been doing a lot of fish today. I've seen. That lobster looked amazing. Right, I think they're done, because look, they're all open now. So I'm going to take them off. My gloves. Yeah. Oh, smoke gets in your eyes. Right, so get my trivet ready. So then you take that straight from the fire onto your trivet and that is your sort of serving bowl that's that chef strength to get it up there and down there and then we can spoon some out i've got these lovely little muscle pots 
when we'd had them on Friday, I cooked them directly in, in here on the thuros. They've got their own little lids, which then double up as the uh, gubbins bowl to put your empty shells in. So what we'll do is we'll oh, put some herbs on the top too, just for that chefy thing. Bit of extra flavour. And then let's give it a stir. And then in we go. It smells amazing. I think the best bit is the juice. So this was a kilo of mussels. It'll probably be enough for for two. Starters for three or two. And then what we'll do is we we'll, don't want to waste that juice, so we'll pour that carefully over the top. Another blast that chef straight. It's really quite heavy, but that's why you need a good pair of gloves. Try not to get it all on the table. Oh, yummy. There we go. Oops. Oh, oh. oh. saved the basil. So yeah, so there we have it. A nice pot of mussels, excellent mussels, cooked in cider. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try one. And what, what you do first is you get one out with a fork and then you use that shell Yum. Then you use that shell as your piece of cutlery and use it as like a pincher and These are beautifully sweet And then is the, mm. the lemon, is that for dressing? Oh, the lemon, yeah. Could have put a bit of lemon on. Thank you, cameraman. So, yeah, so there, I could eat these all day. They're like sweets. Look at that. You want to get some of that juice. That's your favourite bit, think, isn't it? I don't think the bread's quite ready. Let's just have a look. Brownie. Oh, that's quite hot. Um, still, they're still quite soft, so they're going to be a bit longer. So you're going to have to uh, wait, and I'll put some pictures of those later. Chicken, I know, is not quite done either yet. So we can have our mussels for starters, and then hopefully the bread will be done to mop up the rest of the sauce. And then I'll get my thermo pin out and check the chicken, and that's going to be our dinner. So, uh, and of course we've got the fire pit to uh, put some logs on and keep warm. So, uh, have a great week everybody. I'll sign off and um, wish you a good week and um, fire up and get cooking. See you guys.